With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the students, in this question, we have given that the mean of 5 observation is given as 4 and their variance is given as 5.2. Okay. And if out of this 5 observation, these 3 observation are given to us, which are 1, 2 and 6. And we need to find the other 2 observations. Okay. So let me first write, see, we have given 3 observations as 1, 2 and 6. And we have to find other 2. Okay. So let me take other 2 as x and y. Okay, student. And we have given the mean of them, okay, which is given as 4, okay. So, let me write here, we have given mean. Mean of this observation will be 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus x plus y divided by 5, okay. This will be the mean of these 5 observation, which is given to us as 4, okay. So, from here, I can write 1 plus 2 will 3, 3 plus 6 will give me 9, okay. So, 9 plus x plus y will be equal to this 4 into 5 will give me 20 okay so from here i can write my x plus y to be equal to 20 minus 9 which will be equal to 11 okay let me say this is my first condition okay from this first condition i can write my x to be equal to 11 minus y okay student now let me consider my what is given okay see we have given their variance to be 5.2 okay student what is the formula for variance see variance sigma square represent by sigma square variance is defined as sum of square values okay of the observation divided by number of observation divided by square of the mean okay student so let me use this in formula so sigma square is given to us as 5.2 okay and sum of square of observations will be see we have to square this term okay squaring this i will get one square is one two square is four 6 square is 36, x square is x square and y square. Okay, we have done the squaring of them. So, if we add this, I will be getting 1 plus 4 plus 36 plus x square plus y square divided by number of observation. Number of observations are 5. Okay, minus of x bar. x bar is mean. Mean we have given as 4, okay, of this observation. So, this will be 4 square, okay. Now, let me calculate it. So, this is giving me 5.2. See, this is what? 16. Okay. So, if when we take it on left hand side, this will become plus 16. To be equal to 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 36, 41. So, 41 plus x square plus y square divided by 5. Okay. Now, let me calculate it quickly. Okay. Wait a minute. So, 16 plus 5.2 will give me what? 21.2. Let me multiply this 5 here now. So, by multiplying 5, this is giving me 41 plus x square plus y square. Okay, friend. So, see, 21.2 into 5 will give me 106 is equal to 41 plus x square plus y square. Okay, from here, I am getting x square plus y square. See, 106 minus 41 will give me what? See, this will give me 65, okay. What? 65 to be equal to 0. Let me say this is my second equation. Now, I can substitute the value of x for my first equation, which is 11 minus y. Let me substitute here. 11 minus y square plus y square minus 65 to be equal to 0, okay. Wait a minute. Now, let me open this using a minus b whole square. So, this is giving me 11 square, which is 121 plus y square minus of 2 into 11, 22. So, it will be 22 y plus this y square minus 65 to be equal to 0. Okay. Now, I can write this as y square plus y square will give me 2 y square minus 22 y and 121 minus 65 will give me what? Will give me plus 56 okay to be equal to 0 now if i solve this quadratic i will be getting the value of y so let me first take this two common okay so this is giving me y square minus what this give me 11 y plus 28 to be equal to 0 okay see from here i can write this y square see this minus 11 y plus 28 
to be equal to 0 okay have divided both the side with this 2 okay now i can write this as y square minus 7 y minus 4 y plus 28 to be equal to 0 i have factorized this okay so this is giving me let me take y common so y minus 7 now let me take minus 4 common so this is giving me again y minus 7 to be equal to 0 okay so from here i am getting y minus 7 into y minus 4 to be equal to 0 from here i am getting the value of y as 7 and 4 okay i am getting two values of y as 7 and 4 okay now what is x see x we have defined as 11 minus 5 okay so if i take y is equal to 7 so my x will be equal to 11 minus 7 which will be equal to 4 okay and if I take y is equal to 4, then I will get x is equal to 11 minus 4, which will be equal to 7. Okay, so it means my two observations are this 4 and 7. Okay, I can write it as 4 and 7. Okay, so my two observations are coming to be 4 and 7. Okay, so now let me match my option. So which option is correct? Option C is correct. Okay. My two observations are 4 and 7. Hope you understand. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.